Hello race fans and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the Phoenix International Raceway for the Phoenix 50. This is going to be race number 33 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with only four races let, left to go, the points are very close to the top. So let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second is going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 88 of NM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports still leads the way with NBR second. Amish Buggy Racing third. Aces to Zed Motorsports fourth. And rounding out your top five, the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here for this Phoenix 50 here at the Phoenix International Raceway. And the crowd is getting ready to file in. They are getting these cars dialed in. So I think it's about time. So let's go race it. At these, as they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the three of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the 88 of NM. Starting third will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the 51 of AJM. Starting fifth will be the 999 of Deviant, and on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting seventh will be the 34 of Super Snake, and on his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting ninth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So quick look at your starting top 10 today for this Phoenix 50. G3 is going to be leading us down to take this green flag here today. Lots of tw All the 2588s are starting in the top 10 here today with five of the six uh, more f more f <laughs> MBR <laughs> starting in the top 10. So we're going to see what she can do as she leads us down to take this green flag. It is out. We are underway here at Phoenix. Heading down into turn one, G3 already down to the bottom of the track. Well, she started at the bottom of the track. The 25 of JTM following right along with her. The 88 of NM on the outside right there. He is trying to work to the outside, to get around his teammates and brother, the 25 of JTM, as the 999 of Deviant pushes out to third position-ish right now. JTM right up to the top of the track here. He's going to try to cut it low. Deviant trying to ride into the bottom right there. So Deviant's got to run possibly on the second position as G3 is your leader on lap number one. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as we do see the 25 of JTM does retain second position over the 999 of Deviant. But we see the 20 of Adam B5000 who is desperately needing a win here at the end of the season to try to catch up to the double zero of Mudbone in the points. Currently, Mudbone started today in the 24th position. His current position on the track right now is 24th. So he hasn't moved at all, but we see that 25 of JTM now in a battle with the 999 of Deviant here again for the second position. JTM who runs third in the points also desperately needing a win to try to catch up to the double zero of Mudbone. He's on the outside of the 999 of Deviant right now. We're going to see what the 20 of Adam B5000 does. He's going to try almost work into the outside right there. Looks like Adam about to make it three wide with the 25 and the 999. As they work down the front stretch, the 25 of JTM. Oh, we've got a caution on the track. Caution on the track, folks. Caution on the track. It looks like the 25 of JTM is going to retain second position, possibly, as your leader on the track still. That three of Geek Girl Games. Looks like that caution is going to involve possibly the 203 of signs and the 420 of queen of hearts we'll figure that out in just a moment as we watch the three of geek girl games bring them down into the pits possibly no it looks like we're staying out everybody's staying out right now here on 
lap number five of 47. So I think it's probably is going to be a one-stop race. So let's uh, go through and check out and see what brought out that caution. This caution is going to be brought out by Wild Crazy Racing between the 211, the 203, and the 420. Uh, that's going to see them three wide right here. They're almost going to make it four wide with the 33 of Harvey Jones. Let's see what happens here. So you saw that accident. That's going to result in the 211 of Hogs being out of the race. Uh, those involved were the 33 of Harvey Jones, the 203 of Signs, the 420 the Queen of Hearts and the 211 of Hogs. So Hogs out of the race here today as we still, well, now we're not at the one to go yet, but let's go through your current top 10. Your leader still the number three of Geek Girl Game. Second is going to be the 25 of JTM. Third will be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Sixth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 88 of NM. Ninth will be the 51 of JTM. Or, I'm sorry, of AJM. And 10th will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. Uh, you're again, your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, currently back in the 25th position right now. I think we'll probably get the one to go here as they cross the stripe behind this beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. Let's jump back and see where. Uh, it looks like I don't think that the 203, the 420, or the 33 pitted there. And there we see your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, in front of his car owner, the triple seven of Seabass, and behind his teammate, the 660 of Garrett Miller. So it could be a big points day here for the front runners in front of the double zero of Mudbone, the 25 and the 20. Uh, I don't know if there's, a, there's not enough points in there for any of them to take over the lead. They would have had to start on the pole lead the most laps, lead it halfway, and, and, and yeah, and they would have got the five bonus points for leading a lap. And, you know, so there, there's not enough points right now for them to overtake Mudbone, but there is, you know, they're going to be cutting into that lead as we get ready to go back to green here at the Phoenix 50 here on lap number eight. As we'll see, JTM moving to the outside right here. The three of Geek Girl Games leading us down to take this green flag. We're going to see if that 20 of Adam B5000 has anything for that 999 of Deviant. Deviant actually has a pretty fast car here today. He currently runs 17th in points. G3 leading us down. Green flag is out. We're underway. JTM gets a great jump on the three. He's going to pull out to a half a car length. On that three of Geek Girl Games, the 999 of Deviant almost basically pushing her right now. JTM on the outside of the three of Geek Girl Games, the 20 of Adam B5000 also pushing here on the outside as we watch him work down into turn th four. JTM sliding in behind that three of Geek Girl Games, the 999 of Deviant looks like he's about to take away that second position. He's actually looking for the lead here. So Deviant who again, uh, great season after missing the first four races, now looking for the lead here at Phoenix. I'm not sure if he has had a win this season or not. Looking through the list, I don't think, yes, he has won a race. Again, Deviant has won a race as we cut to 34 to Super Snake. Making it three wide with a 999 and the three of Geek Girl Games. So Super Snake, the 34 for Amish Buggy Racing, is pushing that Magnum Research Dodge, trying to get it out to the front. But it looks like the 96 of Nico going to make it three wide with the help of his teammate and brother, the 51 of AJM. So Nico, who hasn't won. This season, actually, yeah, he hasn't won this season. He didn't win last season either. Your season two champion. Winner of four races two seasons ago. Uh, unable to get the job done in the last couple due to mainly because of his, his pit crew. Uh, has now pushed the 96 Marlboro Dodge for MBR out to the second position. Looks like he's about to try to track down the 999 of Deviants. As we watch the battle for the third position between the 51 
as we see the 25 get a little into the contact with the 20 of Adam B5000. So JTM trying to get to the bottom of the track, makes a little bit of contact with the second place in points. The 20 of Adam B5000, again, JTM third in points right now. He is roughly 300-ish, almost 400 points behind Mudbone right now. Definitely needs top 10, possibly a win here as we watch the 96 of Nico now has ran down that 999 of Deviant as they head towards turn, head ter, towards turn one. So Nico now to the back bumper of that 999 of Deviant who has actually a pretty darn good car here today as we see Nico dropping down to the inside as we head into three and four. So Nico down to the inside, that's gonna allow the 34 Super Snake possibly to catch up here. As he does catch up a little bit. And it, the, the 96 of Nico, I was trying to see if he was scored as a leader, not scored as a leader on that last lap, but he is desperately, right, he's, he's doing a great job right now to try to work underneath the 999 of Deviant, it is very, it's a squirrely here at uh, Phoenix. I was, I was wanting to say, say we were at Atlanta this week. This is definitely not Atlanta. This is definitely Phoenix. So you can see their car is a little bit squirrely here. It's not too hot out right now. It's only in the mid 80s, I think, here at Phoenix. So not sure if it's just worn track or what's going on with these cars maybe a lot of rubber down on the track hasn't rained in a bit but the 96 of nico does take over the lead from the 999 of deviants as we see the 34 of super snake who was trying to make a play for the lead there with the 999 and the three of geek girl games trying to make it three wide back then so the 34 of super snake is Working underneath this 999 of Deviant as we see the three of Geek Girl Games pushes that 51 of AJM to the outside as the 20 of Adam B5000 working here in the back. We'll check in on the 25 of JTM as he battles with the 23 of Fuller Than You, known wrecker, the 23 of Fuller Than You. So Deviant is able to keep the second position, so I'm not sure Super Snake actually has a decent car, but I don't think he has enough to get around the 999 of Deviant here. He is going to keep his third position right now, but I think the three of Geek Girl Games pole sitter here today is going to try to work around the 34. She is looking for career win number six, I do believe is that three of Geek Girl Games, and that would tie her with the lead for, with, uh, in career wins with the double zero of Mudbone, who again has put up five wins this season. As we watch your leader, the 96 of Nico, extending that lead a little bit right now. As Rocco the Golden Doodle, I don't know if you heard him in the background barking right there, but he was. Race dog, Rocco. <laughs> As the three of Geek Girl Games work into the inside of that 34 of Super Snake, here comes the 20 of Adam B5000 and newcomer to the top 10, the 72 of Duchess starting 16th here today. Closing in on halfway, about five laps to go until halfway as fastest lap of the day currently by the 96 of Nico at 138 miles an hour or 26.035 seconds. Check in on your points leader, the double zero Mudbone. Running 28th, so falling about four positions right now is that double zero of Mudbone. Again, he's going to retain the lead after this race. There's nobody that can catch him as the 20 of Adam B5000 is trying to work down to the inside. But the three of Geek Girl Games will check in on your leader. The 96 of Nico up about seven tenths of a second on the 999 of Deviant as we see G3 is able to probably, I think she did, and she didn't have it on that lap, the last lap, but she's gonna get in on this lap. She's gonna move up to the third position here. As we watch Adam B5000 also battling with the 34 Super Snake. So again, high line, not as fast, but it's not extremely slow here at Phoenix. So they are able to make this battle happen but eventually being in that low line is going to be able to, you know, they're able to get that. As we see, the 96 of Nico is into the pits. 
Let's watch him come down, see if MBR can actually get a good pit stop for the 96 here today. Uh, so many pit stop troubles over the last two seasons for the 96 as he works into his pits. Right side tires going on here for the 96 of Nico. We're going to see if it's a four. It is a four tire stop as we see his teammates there, the 88 and the 29. So left side tires going on the 96 of Nico. And fuel going in, and he is going to be down and away. So Nico is down and away here at Phoenix after le leading six laps, or I'm sorry, um, eight laps here today. Your current leader is the 999 of Deviant. Nico's going to need a huge out on that lap. We'll jump back. There's the three of Geek Girl Games, the 25 of JTM. So we're watching G3. Left side tires going on to that Reese Chevy for G3 Motorsports. Fuel in. She is also down and away here. Huge battle out of the pits between the 13 and the 34. The 33 and the 3. So there is the 96 of Nico. We're going to try to see if we can catch up to the 999 of Deviant. He's in there behind the 51 of AJM. So we're going to see if Deviant can get out of the pits in front of the 96. We'll see how the Drop Bear Racing Team does here on their pit stops. As we do see, the 96 of Nico is out in front. So I believe... The 96 of Nico will take over the lead here. He'll take back over the lead. I'm trying to see where the double zero Mudbone is. Mudbone may be the last car on the lead lap right now. Again, being up 162 points, there is nobody that can catch him in the points as of this race. But Adam B5000 and... JTM are going to try to cut into that. But let's go through your current top 10 with your leader here on uh, lap number 29. The 96 of Nico. Second's going to be possibly that 72 of Duchess. So Duchess has made a run here in the second half of the season and has moved herself up in this race until the second position. Third's going to be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. 33 of Harvey Jones is lapped down. Fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 51 of AJM. Ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So just as a note, JTM has fallen back to the 13th position after those pit stops. So again, MBR's pit stops woe, pit stop woes continue as we will catch up to the 72 of Duchess, who was right in behind that 420 at Queen of Hearts, who again involved in that early race caution. And uh, she is desperate des definitely slower on the track as the 96 of Nico is currently a 1.7 seconds up on the 72 of Duchess. So not extremely slow is that 420 of Queen of Hearts, um, even with that arrow damage that she has. So they didn't, even, they didn't even think about fixing that damage when she was in the pits, surprisingly. So with 15 laps to go here at Phoenix... That 72 of Duchess definitely has the time to catch the 96 of Nico as she does get around the 420 of Queen of Hearts. I know that 999 of Deviant who did have a good car early on and I, I feel like the 72 now has just, her car is now coming into its own and with this set of tires and the fuel going and, and the fuel and all of that, it's not a full fuel load, I don't think, for this pit off of that pit stop. So, you know, those precise calculations that you have to do when you come into the pits, here's how much fuel we need to get to the end, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe there is that possibility that the 72 and Douche Motorsports did it, put in just enough fuel 
and her car's running a little bit lighter than the 96 of Nico, who currently still leads by 1.76 seconds right now. But she is in hot, it, the 999 of Deviant is in hot pursuit of this 72 of Duchess. We will check in on your points leader, the double zero Mudbone. He does run back in 29th right now. He is not the last car on the lead lap. That is the 203 of Signs who just crosses the start finish line. So there may be a point at which this 96 of Nico may have to deal with the 203 of Signs. So we'll see, but let me also highlight that the 23 of Fuller Than You now has the fastest lap on the day at 138.643 miles per hour after pit stops. So that's 25.966 seconds. So we're watching this 72 of Duchess and the 999 of Deviant lapping here. They are, again, they're about 1.6 seconds behind, 1.5 seconds behind the 96 of Nico. They're knocking about a tenth of a second off per lap, which is... I'm going to say it's going to be pretty close there at the end. we got about 10 laps to go here. We'll jump back through this field as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos trying to work around the 33 of Harvey Jones. Harvey didn't fix any of that. RP Racing didn't fix any of the damage on the 33. He's still able to lap and keep up just a little bit. I mean, he did. they probably fixed a little bit on his car, but we now have three wide with the 329 of Heck of a Duber and the 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 95 of Zed Brunna. Precarious situation here as we watch the 51 of AJM falls back the spot to the 23 of Fuller Than You. We may lose a couple spots here to the 25, the 88, and the 20, which is great news for the double zero Mudbone as the 25 and the, and the uh, 20 have fallen out of the top 10 right now. So we watch that 329 of Heck of a Duber does possibly take over that position from the 40 of Veteran Chaos here. So Duber has had a rough go this season after finishing second in the points last year. He led most of the season last season and has fallen back to 25th as of right now in the points. Could be a good finish here for him today. Definitely needs it after switching from Taco Bell to Mountain Dew, the Baja Blast flavor at Taco Bell for his primary sponsor. But, you know, he's, he's trying. He's trying here today here for Douche Motorsports, which is great for Douche Motorsports because right now they have the 72 and the 329 in the top 10. So that's going to be points for them. But they have to contend with... The 96 of Nico, who still leads here by 1.1 seconds with about six laps to go here at Phoenix and the Phoenix 50. So G3 is right now stuck behind the 420 at Queen of Hearts as they work. She does work down to the inside here. She is currently 1.2 seconds back from the 999 of Deviant. Could be one of the better finishes for G3 this season here in the more freedom series we're going to catch up to this 96 of nico as he laps here around the phoenix international raceway so g3 currently 15th in the point and her finish top finishing position is second this year at martinsville and also a second at the charlotte roval so she will not tie that here today but she is trying really hard she did have a great start on this as Nico will have led the most laps here today at Phoenix. With four laps to go, he is your leader by nine tenths of a second over the 72 of Duchess and the 999 of Deviant who is now right to her back bumper. Not sure if Deviant is gonna make a play for the second position or not. Checking in on the 203 of Signs, he is just a little bit in front of both of these cars. So he's 24.799 seconds behind the leader, the 96 of Nico, who, so he's about two-ish seconds back as we got about three laps to go here as we do see the 72 of Duchess is just about a second off of the 96 of Nico. So I think we're going to get the two laps to go here as he crosses the stripe. The 96 of Nico is trying to win race number five of his career. First one since season two. 
So we're going to get the white flag next time around as we watch the 72 of Duchess and the 999 of Deviants. So coming down to take the white flag off of turn four. Here comes your leader, the 96 of Nico. He is going to take the white flag. One more lap to go here at Phoenix for the 96 of Nico. He is, has just right there in right there near him. You can see him coming out of the turn just a little bit. The 72 and the 999. I think Duchess is going to finish second. Out into three and four goes the 96 of Nico. He's going to come off a turn four. He's heading down towards the stripe. Your winner here today at Phoenix, the 96 of Nico. So congratulations to the 96's first win in two seasons here in the More Freedom Series. So let's go through your finishing top 10. Your winner was the 96 of Nico. Second's going to be the 72 of Duchess. Third will be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 329 of Heck of a Dooberg. Eighth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Just as a note, the 20 finishes 12th, and the double zero Mudbone will finish 28th here today. So awesome race here today at Phoenix. Next week, we head to the Yard of Bricks for the Indianapolis 60. That's going to be an amazing race. Only three races to go here in the More Freedom Series. Let's check in on those all-important point standings after the end of this race. You're seeing those here on the screen. Also, let's check in on the team and chassis standings. Good day for both Douche Motorsports and MBR. So finally getting back into the winner circle is the 96 of Nico. He is your winner here today at Phoenix for the Phoenix 50. Congratulations to him. Great to see him back in the winner circle. Great to see that his pit crew actually did really well here today. But that's going to do us do it for us here from Phoenix. Congratulations again to the 96 of Nico. He is your winner. And until next week at Indianapolis, take care.